Hey guys, Vroom Vroom Zoom here. Nah, it's Andrew here. My channel's called Vroom Vroom Zoom. <laughs> okay, so today I wanted to tell you about my thoughts with regards to this little baby here. Um, it's the Cena 20S and this has totally changed uh, what riding is for me and if you buy one it will totally change what riding is for you. Yeah, so about a year and a half ago I joined this uh, Facebook motorcycle group called NWP. You might have uh, heard me talk about it in another video. And I love NWP. It's such a, such a great uh, sort of idea for bringing um, people who enjoy motorbike riding together. Uh, so with that I've met a few people and I've got my regular riding buddies and you might have seen a couple of them on my videos quite, quite, quite a while ago. They all got these little units, these Cena 20S's, and this particular one. Like, at the time, I really didn't see the attraction in getting one of these. I just, motorbike riding for me up to that point was all about safety and total 100% focus on riding. So I'm focused on the traffic around me, on my, you know, my body positioning, um, my safety, uh, you know, developing that um, sixth sense around being safe on the bike. And so, for a while there, my mates were riding and they were having, you know, they were using these little uh, Bluetooth headsets to talk to each other and I was by myself and I didn't have one. And um, I was, well, whatever, I'm fine. Like, it'd be cool to have, but I didn't really think much of it. And then every single time we got off the bike, they kept saying the same thing. Andrew, you've got to get one. You've got to get one. You're going to love it. You've got to get one. And like, so, you know, I don't know. I mean, seem to, I seem to cave into peer pressure because I ended up getting one. And uh, I'll show you the video of the first time I've used it uh, down below. You might have seen it already. There's some naughty words in it. Uh, but yeah, so for quite a few months now, I've had this little sinner. The, the whole concept of... What well, going for a group ride is just it's just completely revolutionized that for me. So these are my thoughts. These are my thoughts after a couple of months of using the Cena. So the first thing is uh, that I do need to make very very clear is that this is apparently the best unit at the moment that you can get. Uh, I've got my for sort of in a low three hundred dollar sort of range, and I can tell you now. Uh, that I, it's overall, it's it is a very very. I mean, I have nothing to compare it to, but I can say quite safely that it's a, it's it's an excellent product. Okay, well worth it, especially if you like group riding. So I'll tell you some some of the good bits to start with. So some of the bits that I really really like about the Cena 20s is once you set it up, um, the like like the actual experience is great. So a way I can, I suppose, explain to you what it's like is uh, basically having a radio in a car. So without a radio in the car, like I've had mine broken a couple of times and I'm sitting there and I'm just driving and like having a radio in the car just adds like a dimension on top of your driving. Like you can tune into something, you can enjoy the music while you're driving and the Cena is very similar. So any, any I suppose any Bluetooth set where you can communicate with someone else is going to add another dimension to the whole ride, okay? So that's that's great about it. The second thing that I really enjoy is from a safety point of view, and it's when we ride in the twisties, so when we go on our mountain runs, having a Cena 20S is brilliant because someone out the front, uh, let's say you're fourth or fifth in the line, and you're joined up, um, that can give you a warning about gravel on the road, car coming ahead, especially if it's a very tight sort of section. Um, you know, bump here, bump there. I, I, so many times, uh, having a communication device lets you be a lot safer when you're further back. And you know, if you're at the front, you're being responsible and safe. You're going to want to help people behind you. So the, uh, the communication device is going to be a, a awesome for that. So I really enjoy that element of the Cena. The final thing that I just wanted to quickly make a point of with this with the 20s is using it with um, with when it's on your helmet and using it with your hands. It's 
it's quite intuitive in a way. Uh, you have a couple of buttons. You've only got a couple of buttons and you have a rotary controller. So it is quite easy to use to adjust the volume or to um, to hit a button for a command or to answer the phone. It's very intuitive and quite easy. So that, that's a really great part about these units. Now, I do have a number of criticisms for this. And the first one is the actual sound quality that comes out of the little speakers. Um, now, I'm used to, from a previous life, I'm used to bass, like a lot of bass. So when I listen to music through my Cena, I really do not like that at all. Like, to me, it's worse than a mobile phone. Uh, it just, it's so tinny and, uh, you know, it clips and it's, it's just not a good listening experience. Some guys like to listen to their music on this and, and that's great. For me personally, maybe I'm a bit of a sound snob, but not for me. I don't like the, um, the quality coming out of this for music. Okay, so that's number one. Sound for speaking, great, but for music, not so much. That's me. The second thing is, these have to be set up, the little speakers inside the helmet have to be set up perfectly. If they are out, like if, if the little speaker sits here on your ear instead of here, that's it. The volume is drastically decreased and it's really, really hard to hear, especially at, the high, at highway speeds. So it has to be set up perfectly. And to do that, there's a lot of mucking around. Once you've got there, brilliant. But to get there, you have to do a lot of mucking around and sticking your finger up inside your helmet and adjusting it just right. Um, and, and so setup is a little bit problematic initially. Okay, my third criticism is, and this is a big one, is the battery indicator. So on this unit, it's basically it's going fine, everything is great, boom, uh-oh, it's getting flat, boom, it's gone. So there's no incremental uh, indicator for the Cena getting flatter and flatter. There's no percentage, for example. It would be lovely if this unit, like the next, the updated unit coming after this one, would have 90%, 80%, 70%, something like that. So the, the indicator is more incremental rather than just, it's all going fine and then boom, it just drops. So that's another one. I've had, a, I've had it flat a couple of times when it should have been, like I thought it was full and it had just gone flat in like the space of a couple of minutes. My last little tiny gripe with it is the uh, popcorn, I suppose we would call it, um, which is from time to time, especially if there's some interference uh, from other units or from other conversations within a massive group, which does happen, then there is that um, little popcorn uh, sort of interference happening while you're riding along. And sometimes it's really quite uh, like uh, obtrusive, like it's really in your ear the whole time and it really detracts from the experience. But I mean, that's, that's the technology at the moment. So overall, I absolutely love these. Uh, give it a go. Uh, if you have the money um, and you like and you ride in groups, then I cannot recommend it highly enough. Get get on them because it will like like I said, it's just it revolutionizes what is what goes on while you're riding. It just it takes it to another level. So yeah, so that's about it, guys. I hope to give you more updates about the scene as I'm going along. Get out there, give it a go. You won't regret buying one. You will not regret buying one.